Hey all farmer Dre back at us on a beautiful day here on the farm. We got a tenth of an inch of rain last night, so you know what time it is? Time to plant our sunflower maize for the fall. We kind of missed the window for the first part of September to plant our sunflowers. So sunflowers this time of year, in about 40, uh, 49 to 55 days, they should be blooming. So we missed the window for the first part, but towards the end of September into October, we'll have a sunflower maze here. And I'm um, be using our John Deere 7000 planter. I got the corn in here from the corn maze. Got to dump it out. And then I plant the sun, I'll put this black oil sunflowers in here, get this ready. And hopefully we get some more moisture. They're calling for about a 50, 60% chance of rain this coming weekend. Uh, hopefully we get it and it, it, it soaks in that the, the seed bed nicely and they germinate nicely Once sunflowers germinate they're uh, pretty tolerant to the weather and they will bloom even though they won't have a You know if we do stay dry the rest of the summer Then we uh, they'll, they'll continue to bloom if, as long as they're germinated, but we'll see I'm just uh, kind of taking the risk here to, to plant this hopefully it turns out really well if not Well, I know what not to do next year. So anyways got to take out the seed out of here this is just corn seed. Pull this out of here and then we will uh, put the sunflower seeds. Alrighty, so I'm heading out to the field now. Uh, we're planting sunflowers on our rented farm. The original plan was to do two different patches. One to plant, you know, 10 days or 12 days before the other. Uh, but it looks like we're just gonna do one solid patch now. We have the zinnias for the fall to uh, keep us going on flowers the entire length of the fall. We'll have sunflowers for about two weeks. And uh, that's about it for this fall. Like I mentioned, if we had more rain, if we had more adequate moisture, it would be different, but like I mentioned, on a rented farm, we don't have any source of water. So we're just depending only on uh, rainfall. So uh, it's just part of it. But yeah, getting down there, hopefully we get it done. Alrighty, so going here pretty strong. The dirt is fairly dry yet still, but at least the seeds are going in the ground. And with sunflowers, you don't need to go too terribly deep here. Um, as you can see here, the trench is probably an inch deep right there. So it's not too terribly bad. It's actually due to this moisture that we got this morning is doing actually pretty good. Um, it's allowing the, the no-till to go in fairly deep. And then the closing wheels are doing a really good job of closing that trench up. But with sunflowers, like I mentioned, about an inch deep, you're perfectly fine. So you can see here the rows that it's doing. So with the sunflower, I'm going to be coming this way, and I'm going to be planting this way as well. So there'll be double the seeds per acre, but you get a nice maze out of it. So, uh, yeah. 
Closing are doing a very good job. So far, it's going pretty good. But uh, surprisingly, these things are working out really good. These wheels up here are doing a really nice job of, of closing it in. So opening up that trench, cutting the, 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 the mess, the weeds, the residue. And then down pressure is pretty strong. So we're going about an inch deep right now. If it was more, if, it was, if we had more, more, more moisture, it'd be going a little better. But uh, that's why, since we got the rain last night, I'm out here doing it. Alrighty, y'all. So now I got done planting straw uh, sunflowers this morning, and I'm out here. I'm going to spray the pre-emerge and the post-emerge herbicide. I got them in the tank right here. I got about two acres here to spray, so I'm going to be in the cap tractor here and uh, yeah, spray this. It's like I mentioned earlier in the video. It's not too terribly bad, it's a little bit of grass growing here. It's been super dry. Uh, so hopefully this pre-emerge will soak in this weekend when we get some rain. And uh, post-emerge will kill off what's green. And that's about it, so I'm gonna get to work here. Alrighty y'all, so just got done spraying. Hopefully we get some rain. There's some rain in the forecast this weekend. And after that, we should have everything planted on the farm for this season, other than the strawberries that we got to transplant in the fall. But uh, we got the corn maize planted, sunflower planted, the pumpkins are planted. Uh, so other than that, that's about it. So uh, this will be it for today. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. Y'all have a good day, and we will see you next time.